Fraser Nation. Hello, Lee Kemp here for another week on the podcast with my very good friend, Jose Neuer. Ryan, once again, is absent for this week, but we are reassured he will be back making us a, I was going to say a threesome, you know what I mean, that sort of thing, next <laughs> week. <laughs> Joe, how are you? And more importantly, what are we going to discuss this week? Well, this week we are going to just we are going to be talking about assumptions, what you should never assume. And so assumptions are the killers of all all human communication, really, when we assume lots of different things. Um, so that's what we're going to talk about today. So the reason I've chosen this as well is because it's been really popular on our YouTube shorts. And, uh, and we talked about Stephen Covey the previous week. And so assumptions, we can assume lots of things we're going to conversations. We can assume what people are doing, what people are, who people are without actually finding out who they are and what they're about or even if they have an opinion where that comes from so i really think it's an important piece because you know even best in the world you know i might do something or be speaking to someone and assume lots of different things and i think it goes back to what you were talk- talking about lee you know one of the big things that you were talking about in the podcast um this year and last year was about judgment and i think judgment is the thing that kills people along with assumptions and I think assumption is another one that goes alongside that. So I suppose the question is on this one, how can we avoid assuming? How can we make sure that we are really listening to the person that we're talking to and not assume anything about them until we actually find out anything, but actually wait for them to respond in a way which reveals where it comes from and why. So really seeking to understand people rather than jumping to any sort of assumptions or conclusions so that's what the that's what the subject matter is going to be have you got initial thoughts on that lee i know because you worked hard on judgment but assumptions it's probably quite similar but i'd like to know your thoughts i'd just like to prattle out as well joe and say that assuming makes an arse out of you and me Mm. which i know that's corny that always sticks in my head though as a a thing because i do think it's like you said it's it's a dangerous thing to do um, and there's quite a few different examples spring to my head of this where for all different things you know you can assume someone's motivations you can assume what they're driving for you can assume someone's background for example or even assume that they haven't got a background so to speak so you know you might want to impart some knowledge onto someone but it might be a subject that they've got far more knowledge about than you knowledge about than yeah that was right don't know why i stopped myself there sounded like i was misspeaking but you know you could presume that they know nothing about something go into uh you know a spiel about something and actually it might be something they could learn from you on or you just yeah you kind of you you go into a conversation wrong ways it does it ties in a lot to listening thing you said as well i think where you said you're just you know you're waiting for your turn to speak rather than listening and assessing and understanding but i wanted to throw in with you on that as well because i think listening is an important part of that and reacting rather than prejudging what you're going to do um or just driving your own agenda but do you think questioning is an important part of that as well because yeah, I think I it, there's a listening, but if you want to find out if something you're going to say is going to be of benefit to someone or they've got something to say benefit of you or understanding their motivations, anything in that sphere, I think sometimes what you've got to do before you even go into a conclusion, if you like, if that's the right word, try and find out, investigate, if you like, what what makes that person tick? What's their background? What are they looking to get out of this interaction? Which again, you've then got to listen and respond and react to the answers. But the same as you might assume, maybe that person's doing the same on the other end. And actually the skill isn't just on you to not assume and you know listen and react and make sure you're, you're involved in the conversation. But maybe you need to draw that out of them as well. And you need to get the information out of them. They might not otherwise offer because... You know, they might assume you already know it or it's not even their sphere to talk about it. So chunking, I'd call it, in an NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming sort of way, where you you start to find out and you be a bit inquisitive and then you engage in that conversation in the right way based off of what you've then found out. It's a bit of a rambly answer, but I'm quite tired and I've drunk some gin, so they're going to be my excuses. Oh, really? In fact, I'll drink a little bit more gin right now while you respond to me. So you got the gin, Ginningtons, gin o'clock. Um, yeah, so I agree. <laughs> I think, yeah, Ginningtons, quite like that. Um, so thinking about what you're saying as well, questions are really important, I think, because when we maybe are hearing something we maybe don't agree with, questions are a great way to challenge rather than assuming or judging 
their answer. One of the things that I encourage when people, you know, maybe are struggling with something they're being told is ask questions. So things like, what's the impact of that if we do that? So what you're doing is you're understanding why they're saying what they're saying, why they're meant to be maybe pushing on a certain point. And it could be there's pressures on them. It could be anything, right? Questions are really powerful in terms of, and, only, and, and, and actually I could use them more. And I always look back and I think I could use them more, you know, instead of actually saying, oh, I don't agree with that. Or can I challenge that? I would probably ask, I'll probably, you know, my, my, my training for me, my own development is ask a question. Like so, you know, like I said, what is the impact? If we did that, what would happen? What's potential outcomes? I want to just see whether, you know, where it's coming from, but also whether my thinking's aligned with their thinking and whether there's any potential ground for like the win win we talked about with Stephen Covey as well. Like, because in every interaction, and as you said, Lee, I think you, you did it in your journal that you want to leave every interaction and leave people in a better place than when you, when you found them, yes. right? I think that's what you had, right? Now, the only way to do that is we can all go on this path to say, I'm going to go and treat people and I'm going to you know, leave them in a better place. But when we, that's, that's okay when it's easy, right? That's okay when we are agreeing with people. Whether, when, we, when we share a similar thinking uh, thought set or we're quite similar types of people, the challenge comes when you don't agree with somebody. How do you still reach that point of leaving them in a better place, right? So, and I think the best place to do that is through questions to, to ask and, and really be open to their point of view, because actually they might have a valid point that you not thought about and you just assume that your point is correct and it may not be correct. And I think there's got to be a bit of humility in there as well, which can be quite challenging because we talked about on this podcast as well about the ego and how that can get involved. So there are a couple of things in interactions is one part of the ego to ask questions and three, find out where they're really coming from and be prepared to learn um, because you just never know and we can assume a lot of things. So I'll tell you a little story. I was having an interaction with someone and as you may not know or may know, I'm really passionate about coaching. Really? You might know. I've, not, I've hmm. never noticed this about you before. You might so know. I've never noticed this. <laughs> so anyway, I was having a meeting with someone and it was really, just really, it was a really subtle, well, it was a really, they were really kind actually start talking about coaching and start to think about I want to implement coaching and wherever I am at this point in, in, in time in my life you know I, I really want it to work I can get a bit impassioned and sometimes and Lee's experienced this and I mentioned on the podcast before Lee's experienced this impassionment and actually Lee, I mean, Lee does it himself so sometimes we all do it if we're really passionate about something and anyway go on Lee you're going to say something did you say no, something no 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 I was, oh. I was I was agreeing through my eyes with you Joe oh, okay I thought I heard something and um <laughs> And we was having this conversation and it got on to the subject of coaching. And of course I was helping out, I was delivering some deliverables for them as a stakeholder. And we got on the subject of coaching and we talked about what a coaching culture looks like and all that. And I was thinking, yes, we need to do this and we should be doing this. And we really need to sort of measure the coaching. And I was almost assuming that they didn't know really about coaching and I'll reflect on this conversation. And they turned around to me and they said this, they said, I'm actually a, an accredited coach. <laughs> And I went, oh shit! <laughs> whoa, <laughs> like I was, whoa, I was, whoa! Yeah. Note for the record, Jose Noya yep. has sworn I, yeah, I, there. I, I like want to be real. I, like I want to be real about I it. I want to be. Yeah, I want to be real about it because that's where I assumed, and I, and that's the thing that a danger point for me is that when I hear people talk about coaching, I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost let, assume, assume go that people don't really sort of they're not really you know in the circles sometimes that. that you know, sometimes I'm, I'm saying things that people already know and I'm not aware that they're doing that. And that's what I need to be aware of. So I want to share that learning with everybody that we should really be. And when they really be open to that, and when they said that, I immediately stopped talking about it. I said, oh, that's brilliant. You know, and I did. And I said, that's fantastic. And then we had a good conversation about you know, how, how we could, you know, could do it better um, wherever we are. Right. So that was a casing point. And, and I think... When I went to that, that I did, and I didn't really know much about them. I, well, the thing is, that actually, I did know a bit about them because when they first came to the to the business that I work for, I gave them a rundown on the expertise that I had, not in coaching, but in another area of the business that I have expertise, and Lee knows what it is. And so I explained how that industry works. And so I think what I've done, it's a bit of a self-reflection itself, that I've assumed because they weren't aware of the information there, that I've assumed um, a lack of knowledge in other areas, which I was totally wrong about. So that's what we've got to be very careful. So that's what I'd say um, on that point. So that sort of comes up with that 
that that piece of discussion that we can really assume when we can be a real danger point and it can really disrupt relationships and I, and I really did make an effort after that to you know to really engage because I didn't want to this person's a really nice person as well and and they're very on point with people development so I want to maintain the relationship so in the end it was a great relationship and actually today I did deliver a session to their stakeholders and I'm waiting for some feedback so I'm helping them deliver so what I want to do is continue to build that relationship invest in that emotional bank account but that could have easily become an unslip if I wasn't aware of that in that moment so when someone says that to you you really need to take a step back and really start own that and go oh okay great so that's what I just say on that Lee I don't know I think that was a, a little bit of a story that's happened to me very recently and I think it's important to share the lessons so anything come out of that for you I think that's very well first of all Joe you said that I know a different type of expertise that you'd have been talking about, and I'm not sure I'm aware of any expertise you have. So you're just you're, you're putting putting presumptions in my mouth there. How did you feel after? I know you said and you dropped the S bomb about how you felt when it it happened, but what was the immediacy of the conversation with the person after that revelation? Oh, it was absolutely. We just talked about how we can implement it better. Like we started talking on a level where we were both sharing our passion for coaching, which was great, right? Um, so we could encourage each other to share those ideas. Um, so in, in fact, it, it's resulted in probably both of us being an advocates for coaching in the business, right? So that, but we know, now I know, actually now I've got an idea actually because I've just started a coaching community where I am and um, I, need to, I need to invite them to it. So literally um, I've got, you know, 100 plus people in this coaching community. So I'm going to invite them and it's growing actually. I only started it. When did I start it? I started it this week. I started it this week, maybe a couple of days ago. Look at this, and exciting stuff. So, so I don't know, I don't ever share, I don't share that with you, but it's really exciting. There are people that have dropped out of it, but there's people that want to join. So I'm really, I'm really gathering people that are really wanting to like, you know, really have a coaching mindset and culture. And that's important because like, so let's, let's be honest, you know, you know, there's going to be some people that are going to enjoy coaching. Some people aren't going to enjoy coaching or not. They'll enjoy it, but they don't really want to talk about it or have be involved in, communities or forums right but they're still supported but they don't necessarily want to have you know messages coming through around coaching all the time so i'm collecting the people that do want that and so we can all develop something that's going to really help where i am at the minute and i'm really excited by it to be fair but this person i need to invite them to it so i'm no, going to write that down right now right now i'm going to write that down before i forget <laughs> um because i've got my plan for tomorrow all right i'm going to just reach out that's really good that's a really good self-reflection there that's some thank you Lee, for that, that reflective question that's what, it's that's what coaching though. does though good questions i was today actually it's funny you say this i was i was in a workshop today with um guys a business analyst and they're trained to draw information out of people and he the thing you said the exact question you asked earlier as an example which was what is the impact if we do this he asked me that two or three different times in different ways as we're having this conversation. And it was it was really good because you always have this risk of what you call assumed knowledge where you work somewhere or you work in a type of work or in a business or like me, both for ages. And certain things become second nature that aren't second nature to people who aren't in the bubble, so to speak. And he was really good at getting me to explain it out without me necessarily realising that's what I was doing and it was it's it's a real like you said it's a real skill to be able to to draw information from people um, and it just it struck me when you said that question I was like ah oh, I've been asked that today um, and you can see it in the work person does because they're brilliant at, at getting you know understanding what people or businesses need or want and getting out the information and being able to digest that and actually play that back to you or play it back to other people and I think it's a really it's a core skill and I think it ties in with this and not making assumptions is why they have that that question kind of asking mentality drilled into them um you also said a bit earlier um about it's easy when you're with someone who thinks like you do but it's more difficult when it's it's not and i became very consciously aware of this years ago where i think i would struggle with people who didn't think the same way that i'm, I'm much more cognizant that it's okay to disagree in that it's okay for me to not agree with what someone else says and it's okay for them to not agree with what I say and in fact I so much so that I find myself now sometimes almost subtly reassuring them that it's it's okay you know 
disagreeing isn't a bad end to that that thing it's good to have different viewpoints and good for striving for different things and i think the first thing you have to do is accept not everyone is going to agree with you and then that you're not going to agree with everyone else but that's not a problem because i like to yeah. think with my views i've been right a lot of the time but i've also been wrong a lot of the time and this thing i'm disagreeing mm. on could be one of those things who knows but it's mm. you know unless unless it impacts what you're doing it's not a problem for that disagreement so to speak and even then someone else's point of view might just give you a bit more awareness of a risk or a concern or something else to look at and it might not steer you in a different direction but it just adds to your consciousness and your kind of i suppose full picture of whatever it is that you're looking at so that like you said joe how it works is different viewpoints different opinions and going away with different opinions is good it's all one big experiment and you know you're right until you're wrong or you're wrong until you're right it doesn't matter which way around you look at it really but you know you're only right about what you're saying for as long as you are right and it's important not to necessarily die on every hill just because it's your viewpoint yeah i'm using that before actually um and i i i mean i love that viewpoint and, and i say it's something important because we can get in echo chambers can't we and then we restrict our actual expansion of knowledge really so really important i just wanted to give a little shout out as well um someone i can't on tiktok just someone I, I like oh is it nah monafake got number one gift oh, number one gifter i saw that pop up yes fantastic yeah. and uh joe says hello what do you do for a living uh well what do i do for a living i do this this is my this is this is one of my main things together with my job i'm a <laughs> trainer coach so yeah thanks for the questions by the way that's on TikTok. I just thought I'd answer the question. because That's been fantastic. Asked. Well, while you mention it, you shout out to people. Every week you can join us live. This week we're going a bit freestyle because I was working away from my home office. Joe was doing something else that holds us up a bit. So we, rather than our usual six o'clock slot, we started about half seven. But again, if you follow Joe on TikTok, J Noya underscore Inspiration Nation, or just follow us on YouTube, just search for Jose Noya Inspiration Nation subscribe follow whatever the button is on either one of those platforms you will get notified when we are going live it is once a week it's normally about six o'clock we're a bit off, off off piece now and of course you can find us on each and every podcast platform new episodes coming out friday but if you want to get in on it early and interact with what we're doing again follow subscribe youtube and tiktok and you'll get to see us live yeah i love that As Joe I swear. To, yeah well i'm just want to be real on that thing um it's just you know just so the actual emotion at the time was going oh you know it was really difficult it was like oh, i better draw back it's like having that emotional intelligence to go oh i'll put my foot right in that i just really walked into <laughs> that and just recognizing it um, and it happens before... i think this is a great example where we will talk about this stuff but it doesn't mean we're on it all the time and we're perfect with it and you know everything like that is everything is a chance to reflect and learn and better yourself and all of us will get it wrong sometimes as part of the process yeah and i think that's what the key is is that we were open to that and i think that's what we want to help it's what we want to sort of relate it to you guys here who you're listening and watching that you are always going to you, you're going to get things wrong sometimes and it's, but it's what you learn at that point and being open and parking your ego to go do you know what? i was wrong there and uh, uh making sure you do it so i just wanted to just go back on your point lee about meeting people that um don't agree with you and there's a lovely youtube channel i don't know if anyone's heard of it maybe um tiktok and youtube and and, and the lovely listeners we've got on our podcast have you ever heard of pursuit of wonder have you heard of pursuit of wonder? i have not it's just the name of the channel i have it's, it's a channel on youtube i did so i have sent you a little bit of a i keep sending emails don't i and it's one of those emails it was off that channel it was a philosophical channel but it's got a really interesting youtube video about if everybody thought the same and had the same beliefs and no one challenged each other and how society would fare. And I loved it because it basically said that the, the, the message was if everyone just agreed with each other and there was no essentially disagreement, then eventually society would just die because it would just be everyone would think the same. Um, I thought it was a really good, really good video. In fact, I'll try and dig it out, Lee, and I'll send it to you. Um, it was a really eye-opening moment to say, actually, we do need disagreement. So going back to assuming, you know, and we can assume that people think like us, but they don't. They're going to challenge us. Of course they will. Um, will we never get a challenge? No, of course we're always going to get a challenge. At some point we're going to get a challenge. But remember this, 
it's good that we don't agree on everything because that's what creates that variety. So us assuming things actually, when you put on the table, if we assume, if we assume and then we get a disagreement, it actually that wakes us up to go, oh, actually, maybe I wasn't right. So maybe when we assume there's a like a sort of a a sort of opposite to that, saying, oh, because I assumed, I feel, oh, I've just got taken aback by that, or someone's, you know, almost like you're wrong. But actually, it's woken us up to say, oh, actually, there could be a point here. So I think that's a really, really good tail end of that. That actually maybe we have assumptions built in because maybe that's what we need to be woken up out of the assumption to learn something new, right? I got no, you know, it's real, but it's a really good video. I don't, I'm going to encourage people to go watch it. It's got lots of thought experiments on there, butterfly effect, all that sort of stuff. That I know Lee loves a bit of butterfly effect, Indeed. but it's got some really, really it talks about um, philosophy, um, all sorts. And I'm giving them a shout out, really is good. And I discovered it by chance. And uh, as I say, definitely worth a check out, and especially on that assumptions thing where you, you know where you assume everyone's, everyone's thinking like you they're not that could be actually a really good piece of video for you to watch i'll try and dig it out i'll try and do it but i'll send it i'll see if i get it to you lee all right Absolutely. but that's being done do, i think i but... might stick a link in the comments to the show so when you are if you are watching this at some point in the future from now when we're recording hopefully that link will be in the comments right now yeah so big takeaway lee from this conversation um yours was burger and chips earlier wasn't it jay I was very nice too, yeah. Burger and chips and a bit of, um, a bit of, was it called? Dough. Was it oh, called? Dough balls. Dough balls, that's it. I couldn't think of the word. It's definitely, it's time. It definitely affected me, I think. Yeah, it's, it, which definitely, definitely is not the reason we're recording later right now, is it, James? <laughs> it's nice when we do it earlier, isn't it? We're in the zone. <laughs> yeah, but it's good. I think this is more, I think the pace of this is more, um, well, definitely for me, I'm definitely. It's definitely a slower pace. Actually, it might be that I feel a little bit more thoughtful and reflective. You're but I definitely feel the energy. The food. Yeah, definitely feel the energy is different. Yeah, the food definitely. But so, is there any big takeaways from you, Lee? Yeah, I think, and I know it's it's what I said, but I think it's reinforcing in my head the whole "it's okay to disagree" thing. I think that's really important, and it's. I think it ties in with the overall assumptions message. Is you know you've got to listen to you have to be aware of other viewpoints and listen to. Them. And in fact. Rambling on now, you're, it's a, it's, we need disagreement. It's a good thing. That's what encourages growth and innovation and change. That's my big takeaway. All those things lead into that statement, and that's what's really resonated in my mind with this, is actually the positivity of disagreement. If anything, you should actively encourage it in your life. So, Lee, that's really interesting you saying that because it reminds me, because you're, you love innovation, don't you? And I think you showed me a video once where innovation requires friction. Yes, yes, I did. I remember that, yeah. And I remember that video, and it talks about you have to have that friction so you create new ideas, so it's like you have that pushback to create it. So it really does go full circle, doesn't it? So look at that, how Absolutely. assumptions really kicks into innovation. And we didn't really think of that before we came on the cast today, did we? We thought, wow, that's really quite, um, yeah, that's, that's even taken my takeaway to another new level is that you need it for, you need friction. You need that to become up with new ideas, new ways of thinking. And Stephen Covey talks about, oh my God, Lee, that's just the next, that's the, that's next week or the, the podcast the next is Synergy. I've just remembered oh, off the book, look at Synergy, that. All ties together. Synergy, which is the next chapter of the book. And I just met this weird how this has kicked in. Literally Synergy is about when you have an idea someone disagree with it but you build on the idea and the idea innovates and that's what synergy i'm sure that's what that next chapter is about i have read it lots of times before but it's it's a bit sketchy so i have to reread it spoilers but i will there. be spoilers. rereading it for the next time yeah go on lee sorry go on. i was gonna say spoilers for next episodes i love it joe that's brilliant so well i'm just yeah well if it, yeah when you listen you'll get a spoiler but if you don't listen you'll be a surprise so Indeed. i will still win any more to add before i wrap us up here jose no it's good i've just got a hello how are you friend how are you i don't Hello, A. I don't know your full name, but you've got A on TikTok. But no, that's everything from me. I'm just giving little shout outs um, to people on there. So thank you for liking it. And thank you for coming on and spending your valuable time with us here tonight. We that's appreciate it. Yeah. Half an hour of people's time. We, we know that is a lot to give up. So we do appreciate those that watch, listen, download, all that great stuff. Again, just quickly, TikTok and YouTube. You can join us live each and every week. Just hit subscribe and follow. Jay Noya underscore inspiration or search for Jose Noya inspiration. Or follow us on Twitter at listen to I and listen T O I N. You can find links to absolutely everything on there through the podcast. And if you're on a, a podcast player right now, hit subscribe, hit like, tell friends and family. They are all the things that help us grow organically as a 
podcast and he ran out of breath there need to breathe between my sentences so breathe lee breathe and yeah. of course head over to inspirationnation.org.uk for all your merchandise hoodies t-shirts mugs etc etc all there inspirationnation.org.uk and most importantly you can sign up to jose's weekly newsletter there as well just drop us your email address and joe will add you to that ever-growing list just a shout out a is actually called Andrew, so welcome, Andrew, and thank you for listening. Appreciate you out there TikTok. very Appreciate much, Andrew. So. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yep. Right. I think I shall just count us down, Joe, and we will be back next yep. week. Three, two, one. Go on, then. Inspiration Nation. Catch you guys later. Catch you guys later. Let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this conversation. I'd love to know. Put it in the comments below, and I'll respond to every single comment because that's the commitment I make to you in this community. Also, don't forget to subscribe right over here because we need you to build this inspiration nation community to get the podcast out there and to help other people for free. And also, don't forget to hit that bell right over here because if you hit that bell, then you're going to know when another video is going live. And don't forget to check out these videos right here next to me because those are other podcast episodes that can really help you out. I really, really appreciate it. And lastly, don't forget out to check the newsletter. The link is in the description below. That's where I can talk directly to you without through the YouTube, throughout the social, because you can have a direct communication channel with me through the email and you can get to know everything that's going on with Inspiration Nation, ask me questions and even give me suggestions on what you want us to talk about next. So I'd love to see you in the next video. So please click on those links. Please follow through. Please let's get this community building. I appreciate you. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video, Inspiration Nation, and I'll catch you guys later.